Bastard's Beacon Grand Slam. Terrible idea. Let's do it. I had, to, I had to repurpose it for the YouTube audience. Come on, you get it. Welcome back, everybody, to Darkest Dungeon 2. We're bringing the same squad back from our previous five-hour gauntlet. Managed to finally take down the Chapter 5 boss here with the Bastard's Beacon equipped, and I figured, why not just go for the whole kit and caboodle, man? Let's see if we can do a Bastard's Beacon Grand Slam. And then we'll definitely try out some other Infernal Flames, although I've just been really enjoying the challenge that this uh, provides, despite the frustration that's obviously come with it. Not to mention, I feel like we've landed on a really nice team here uh, with the squad that we're bringing back today. And Bijou, Iguana, Fun, Shamblin, Turtle, and Arcana Arcade, who now has the Deadeye Path as opposed to just the Wanderer Grave Robber, so she's going to be even more effective for us, ideally. I'm going to start off with Chapter 1 today to kind of take it easy and hopefully get a few more... Uh, bonus memories going on this team and then we'll uh, just kind of work our way through I guess you came here seeking solace but found stagnation instead yeah having taken taken down chapter 5 is one of the biggest steps I think chapter 3 may still be you can feel it. one of the A harder bosses in the, in the game though I'm not ready to say it's the hardest in fact I'm pretty sure chapter you 5 see, especially on Bastard's Beacon is the hardest at this point not immune to the spreading thing. There's just so many variables going on with the Chapter 5 boss that I rarely actually have to deal with, so... Yeah, it's... A master stroke. It is... a sufficient challenge at this point. Should also go ahead and take a peek at our skills again Battle here. I had built specifically for the Chapter 5 boss before, so I may want to take off Repartee and get the Dead of Night back in there. Managed to finish Region 3 with Scourge Flagellant only. He's too OP, I'm afraid. He seems even better than I remember him being. I obviously had had a pretty good time with the Flagellant before. Flashing hit in 3 and 4 is pretty terrific, by the way. I'm going to be having a great time with that skill today, I think. There we go. But yeah, obviously, he was crushing it for us for our Chapter 5 attempt. And I expect a similar result today as well. All right, buddy. Another actual fight to start off with here for the uh, intro battle. I don't want to take it easy no more. Tempest, though. Never steer you wrong. Let's go ahead and finish you, pal. The fiend's strength dwindles. There we go. There it is, fella. Now, does she have any execute from anything in her kit? Oh, Glint. But I don't know if you can use Glint in the back rank. Maybe you can in Dead Eye. That'd be cool. We are the flame. Oh yeah. Burning brightly for all the world <laughs> to see. I forget we're in our chapter one mode here. Plus five mastery points right away is uh, pretty outstanding. I'm gonna have a good time here. I, I don't mind this one bit, actually. I could absolutely go for a cakewalk. There are yet places such as this where a little light still gathers. Which is exactly what I say prior to a humiliating Another defeat. Another nameless city. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. So look forward to that, to, uh, to that, but until then, I guess I'll just be needlessly overconfident. Needlessly, come on now. We all know how it is. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Pick up a couple more whiskey flasks, and let's go Shambler spawn. Why not? It sounds like fun. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Did manage some insane trinket combos with that last time, so I don't mind doing that again. Yeah, we're going for the Bastard's Beacon Grand Slam today. That's the MO right now. And let's use... I mean, I really would like to use Glint. I haven't execute on anything. Execution 3 with the stealth, too, is really fun, but... I don't think I'm doing that here. I might even still use Repartee, actually. Doesn't require her being stealth anymore. It's not a terrible idea. Just keep all of the attention off the plague doctor. And let's go ahead and upgrade that leopard chop. Might want to go bash again here. I had kept it equipped, and I'm 
not really clamoring for any other skill here. Bash upgrade for some combo application could be pretty helpful right now. And then that would absolutely justify keeping blinding gas in the mix too. Although I guess there's a lot less likelihood that we're able to target the same things with this. Hmm. I mean, if I do want more combo, I felt like I was having a pretty good time with this last time, actually. Let's keep going with that. And then maybe Dead of Night. Be able to keep her stress in check. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Gotta feed him. I didn't even want to go for the early relationships here with the whiskey flasks. Certainly considering it. Maybe go friendly between these two. Just get them nice and toasted. Oh, never mind. He's resolute. All right, forget it. Hit the sprawl. A renewal. Welcome back, Captain Smalls. Thank you for the six months. Ooh, let's draw some names for the uh, stagecoach and pet here as well before I forget. Pick me still open for business. Give him some bear hugs too for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Is this the repartee that gives the taunt to others? I don't think so, but I'll double check. Behold, nah. the great cities of man, ruined and aflame. Grimma. That'll be our stagecoach for the day. I need to change up that library, too. I've been rocking that one for too long. Although it is a good one. And Daniel. Well, come on in. Hopefully you can get us some good combo trinkets today. Literally combos of trinkets and then also trinkets that apply combo. Either way very much like to see it so i think the other thing about chapter one is that we don't require a trophy to reach the end is that not right i'm pretty sure that's right we can take it easy with that too although it might be tempting to get a trophy for this anyway They're usually pretty helpful all righty bafflement and vexation. How are we feeling today, team? That's a fine looking start. I love the stun, though. That's right. Okay, thank you, keyboard. Yeah, so. Very little pressure on this one, thankfully. And like I said, I feel like I could go for a simple W. And that'll certainly get us started. Seems like maybe shuffling around enough for us to maybe try to. Combo or two in the back ranks, brought to the front. No worries, no worries. Acid Rain will finish the job. Crits for you, healed up to full. Counts it up. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Nice casual Friday. I do think I, I have it, or it's been overdue for me here. Yeah, we've been undergoing some absurdly difficult challenges although i keep saying this knowing full well that the regular fights have just as much likelihood to be brutal as the previous attempts they're all full, fully ordained and pulling from the same pool of enemies so still just as much chance of failure in that respect i guess matter. That, but might as well top her off. I don't think she even took any damage, actually, so. Recognizing now that the Plague Doctor still very much would like to stay in that third rank. Hopefully, we can keep that being the case. Greater threats await those who dare. Alright. Knocking out the hero goals. Top priority. Have that too, buddy. Why not? A little extra stress resistance is nice. All right. So what are we really looking for here? We just need to try to get those Lament combo trinkets back. Taken by the fires of these fanatics. Obviously, any relationship help is more than welcome. But here's where we could run into trouble. Here's where we have just as much concern as before for the difficulty of things. We're gonna have to take this seriously. See if I can get numbers early on. I found the other day a Dorito flavored popcorn. It's a nine out of ten. I I've been I've been so snacky, man. 
I don't know what's going on. I need to eat bigger meals or something. I can't get enough. I gotta stop. It's getting bad. My go-tos are those uh, big-ass bags of the smart food white popcorn. Because it says smart food, so it can't be bad for you. It's smart, just like the smart water. Smart water is smarter than regular water. Regular water is dumb as hell. You gotta get that smart water, boy. Get yourself educated. This is also smart food. Oh, great. So it's healthy then, right? They couldn't they couldn't put it on the bag otherwise. Bash time? Oh, no. Did upgrade it after all. She just got a pip from him bashing. That's that seems unlikely. I'll take it. Oh, that was probably unnecessary. That's another thing I gotta keep in mind with this team. I don't have any directed stress healing at all. A breakthrough. So if anything's gonna get us, it's probably gonna be the toxicity of our city. This flagellant just constantly having relationship issues, which is probably gonna happen. Just hopefully not gonna be too much of a punishment from it. Steady yourself. Well, we have Endure, but that's just adding more stress to him. Mmm, yeah. What killed me last DD2 stream bear? I'm not mad, I'm seeking revenge. <laughs> uh, you were our occultist before, right? This road cannot be walked alone. I think if I recall correctly, you died to an antiquarian repair fight. Yeah, actually, I remember that vividly now. It was post very difficult battle. In this I think it was gloom, a boss fight. A spark. And then we had a repair battle right away. And I said, please don't be an antiquarian. And what do you know? And yeah, they, they took you out real quick. Let's see here. Flammable item. I don't think we got anything that can make that happen. This is not all that fantastic for us anyway, so probably just ignore it. Turn start block token certainly ain't bad for the leper. Slap that on there. Stress for the flagellant is also like a midnight snag. It doesn't actually count. Well connected. Yeah, I can agree to that. Proper fight certainly wasn't all that threatening. It's good to see. Apparently I'm liking the blinding gas a lot now. It's kind of fun to have these unused skills come back into play. Ounce and the blinding gas. Getting some love today. And last time. Best snack style pond pole. Sweet or savory? Ooh. Snack wise, gotta be savory. Because I don't know, I don't consider candy snacking. Candy's different. Candy's an indulgence. Candy, I just, I, I, I know I'm feeling bad about it. Sometimes I can snack and I can be like, yeah, I needed that. A little, little protein pack, a little bag of chips is good. If I eat an entire share size bag of Skittles on my own, I, I just feel like a trash sack, dude. What about a small pastry or a donut? Well, there we go. Yeah, now that's snacking. Don't look donuts getting up to like meal Confirmed territory. Like you could have a donut for breakfast. Yeah. Which I don't know. I, don't know. I, I am not being honest with you. That would not be the, the, the portion of donut I would consume for breakfast. Minimum two, probably three. Especially if it's the right kind of place, man. You gotta get donuts from a good place, too. You can't just be going get Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme. That's garbage. You gotta get a nice local donut shop. We know them things. Coming out hot, fresh, puffy, and delicious. I just had lunch and now I wanna eat again? Come on. I mean, this is standard fare around these parts, man. Oh, we're like 20 minutes in. Obviously, we're getting into food conversation again. 
Bear hasn't eaten yet, now he's probably gonna Google a donut place nearby after stream. Welcome back. Yeah, go for it, Poverty. Glad you're liking the Bear Latro. And Robin Ebro! Thank you very much. 82 months on the pile. A few bear hugs for him, please. Welcome back in. Yeah, hit me with it. That actually sparked a very interesting conversation in the comments for the last VOD there, Robin. Had a lot of really good additional uh, boss fight suggestions. And whack. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. There's a vegan donut shop near me that does wild Greater donuts. They did a buffalo chicken donut. Dare. What the hell? Tell me you tried that. I'd have to try that out of curiosity. That's they they've mixed the savory and sweet. They've solved our snacking situation. Savory does win by a mile as far as the pile goes. Buffalo chicken pizza is a top tier pizza too, man, no doubt about that. Now stiff drink. Did get a big pig. Can't afford any of these really good trinkets, unfortunately. Yeah, inevitable end isn't really that good anyway, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we know we're taking that. Eh, sharpness charm's okay. I don't think I need to buy it, though. Nothing all that tempting here. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to be better about that moonlight for sure. I do forget that often. I don't think I'm getting anything else out of here. There's nice things, but nothing nice enough to make me want to spend the resources. Moving on. I'm gonna talk about a flavor combo. In my youth, there was a 24-hour place near my home that served a bacon cheeseburger with jalapenos on a glazed donut instead of a bun. Talk about food that makes me feel bad about myself, but yeah, that does sound incredible. I don't know about eating a burger with a donut bun, but I know that the moment I bit into it, I would, I would, I would abandon all hesitation. An academic study, full of the forbidden and the forgotten. Oh, this is fun. Unique interaction with the blood and wine. I'd certainly prefer to get the wine here, but let's see what this does, I guess. Generous. Be a lot more generous if you gave me some of the wine you just fucking binged on. Alright, I guess that is a pretty convenient stress heal after all. Don't be too mad about that. Alright, no loathing to worry about. Sort of just going resistance to resistance here, which is fine by me. Centuries of human learning and achievement. Ruined by riotous contempt. Ready. Yeah, it's easy. Just gotta take her out early. Which we've got a very effective backline damage team here. The damage is pretty much perfect with this squad. That's one issue that we do not have. We've got the ability to target every rank pretty effectively, and we are doing so. Mostly the directed stress, and there's a little lack of healing too, but the fact that we've got all three with self-healing on top of the plague doctor, well, the surgeon plague doctor along with that, and then, yeah, honestly, healing isn't really a big issue with this squad either. Obviously good tank, good control, yeah, there's very little surprise that this squad was able to be successful. Hey, Marvin, welcome. Okay. Let's keep popping them. That's crazy good damage even without the upgrade right now. I really like flashing daggers now. I'm have to get a couple solemnities going here too, hopefully. It's not a concern. We're gonna acid rain that. Should be both dead off that one, although there's need for a little bit more blight in the back, I guess. Leprechaun. One shot him here. Ah, wasn't an option. That was a good chunk. 
Unlike the other bosses, you'll always fight the same enemies in the fights leading up to the tree itself. Ah, we're back to the tree from the last conversation, gotcha. First fights you'll have to or first fight is two foot soldiers and two condemned. Who look like the lost soul enemy. With the difference that the condemned have a severed hangman's noose around its neck and its attacks are a bit different. The damned grasp attack, my goodness, yeah. There's a chance to apply a combo token to the attacked hero. It's like all it's sound balanced even. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Gameplay wise, yeah. Very nice. Suppose I could just do this now, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm into it, Robin. I have a feeling this is not gonna go as smoothly as I would have liked, although that guy thankfully isn't gonna be able to use those tokens. Invariable result. I think I'm gonna go ahead and fix her up real quick, and then let's try to focus on improving our situation a little bit more here. Of course, got his more and more heal coming in too, but uh, yeah, the stress piling up as well. Jesus, that store might as well deathless that. Generosity. What a welcome one. I'm just feeling a lot better now. We'll get the armor break on her. She's gonna be going down, and then battlefield just to get rid of the dot is probably the way to go. Wonderful. Bold defiant. All right. Big blight. Big blight. And we'll do it. Still kind of hurting there. Probably just go ahead and pop another battlefield real quick. Extinguished at last. I want to endure that as well. Likely to see a toxic here, sadly. That was a truckload of stress that we had to get from that fight, sadly. I should prioritize Laudanum more. Stuff like that is going to be a big deal here. Help these guys out a little more. Stall for a Solemnity? I don't think I have another one, do I? The Blight taken down. One more of these puppies, although I guess we're not going to need it. See you. Okay. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Speed token to random ally on turn end. Why not? All right. Crow's feet always nice. Yeah, I definitely want to try to get some spring water or laudanum here. These have been pretty straightforward so far, though. Not much to be concerned about. I don't think we got any mastery yet, though. Ah, boy. We're doing chapter one here, Marv, yeah. That should be pretty easy as well. I haven't done any repartee yet. Wondering if it is actually the way I want to go with her. Doesn't really seem like it's necessary, especially with, ha with having her. And apply it judiciously. Especially with us having two forms of time in the front ranks already. It's Tempest Leper, even without much help. Customarily effective. Do, do, do. Um, let's see here. Probably just blinding again. The necklace of the headsman is not made of toys, but severed fingers. There we go. Yeah, we've seen that is certainly allowed within the confines of the lore. Appendages are, are meant to be utilized all the same. as accessories. That much is pretty obvious in the darkest dungeon world. Eh, let's just move, yeah. I'm gonna have a bracelet made of toes. Bonk. 
No, you need to knock that off, pal. Not loving that. Oh, that's probably gonna be looking like a toxic soon. Nice stress resistance. Not able to get up here again. All right, buddy. Yeah, as much as I expected this to legitimately be concerning, well, fights like this in particular, I thought we'd have a slightly more difficult time with, but I do think we've landed on one of the better teams we've ever built here. That is nonsense. So it shouldn't be too shocked, I guess, that they've been pretty successful through the first half of the region here. I can deathless now. There we go. Fix him up, top her off. Good stuff. Yeah, I gotta pivot off the food conversation too, man. I'm just trying to figure out what direction to go. Greater threats await those who dare. Ooh, his prison for the flagellant applies blight to attacker and adds a strength token to the more more skill. Terrific. Got the mastery point out of that one too. That's a really nice. Reward there. Whispers. Throw that on him. We'll add some stress resist here. Might as well equip these guys, I guess. And then moving on. Kind of morning coffee talk, yeah. Although I absolutely have it in my head that I want to go get some donuts today. That buffalo chicken donut. Okay, hold on. Was that Carl? Carl, you got to tell me more about that. You actually tried it, right? Be prudent. Okay, never mind. We're not pivoting. We're pivoting right back to donut conversation because now I just, I just want to concoct the craziest donut. I think I think that's a fun, a fun pivot, despite it unfortunately not solving the issue of us being starved. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily need the hospital here. Resolute is often an issue, but I don't know if I need to spend. Ooh, Precision Striker is actually maybe worth locking in on this Plague Doctor, but yeah, I don't think it's good enough. Uh, sprained Ankle could be worth getting rid of, too. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Yeah, I like that. Let's get the Laudanum that I was talking about getting before, and then off we go. Cool. Void Donut. Oh, okay. Yeah, we... We found it. The loathing festers. Let me see if I can find an Instagram post. Yeah, I'd like to see it at the very least. Sounds very interesting. I want a donut. I want an everything donut. Like an everything bagel, but a donut. And it's just got like all of the fixings that you'd normally put on a donut. Like sprinkles, obviously. And then like maybe like graham cracker crumbs and like Oreo. Maybe some like tiny bit of whipped cream or something. I'm sure, there's things I'm missing. Almost some damn Butterfinger on there for God's sake. Why not? Agony by accumulation. A seven-year-old's dream donut. Not surprising that it's what I concocted. What if the sprinkles were baked into the donut itself? Now we're talking. I don't know why I tried to blinding gas the altar. That was, uh, that was questionable. The fiend's strength dwindles. Once you reach the top of Hangman's Hill, you stand before the gallows tree. It always starts the battle by using the low-hanging fruit attack. Okay. Shaking its branches to summon two condemned to fight alongside it. All right, yeah. Collector style. Always uses this with no condemned in the battle. It deals extra damage to heroes with combo on it. It will attack with join us an attack where it tries to strangle one of your heroes with its nooses. That reminds me a lot of the. Uh, well, it's kind of give a combined reminder of both the. Um, sh oh, not shroud. What's it called? The cove. The cove. The cove bosses. The. Um, the Siren, obviously, and then also... Actually, I think I'm just remembering the... 
the enemy? The fiddler? Whatever he's called? I think that's what I'm thinking of. My mom does a chocolate sponge cake. Carves out the cake and fills it with passion fruit mousse. Ooh, that sounds tasty. Barbecue brisket donut? Oh, yeah. I'd try that. Mars the stone. Thanks for the gifted. Have fun in lug. Great card run yesterday. I appreciate it. I'm still a little disappointed in myself for the fact that we absolutely could have got the W there, but yeah, no. Hopefully we can pull it out next time. Again, I'm still I I, I am so into the idea of doing a proper Bellatro checkpoint league this year. We could even just do like five weeks. Or I guess we, if, it depends on how many people I suppose, or I suppose that we have in the league. Just do one game between each player. A petty hindrance. I am not playing this fight very well at all. Why is Bear so far away? I'm experimenting with new camera angles. I want to get the uh, these guys in particular. I like these two posters because I'm really proud of my music and I like showing off the artwork for them. I want to try to get them back in the camera. An unavoidable end. Alternatively, we could try it out this way. How's this? Is this better? We'll try this out for a bit. Yeah, that seems right. That's good for the content. Steady yourself. Ah, there it is. It's gonna happen eventually. This is better? Okay. How about put the posters in the ceiling and have the camera under your chin? There we go. Yeah, something like this. This, this is all you want to see all day, right? That's the angle for me, Bear. Your face almost goes over the grave robber's body. It's true. <laughs> Big head mode for the grave robber. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good fit. I got, I, I got to sway a little bit like she is, so I got to match it up. <laughs> that's good. Realized, okay. That's what's going on. Permanent eye contact, go Bethesda mode. Oh, right, yeah, okay, I'll just do this the whole time. I, can't, I, gotta, I gotta blink, man. I can't hold it up for too long. Um, let's do that. Malaise. Measured and steady. Robin, I'm getting a bit of info overload there, buddy, but I appreciate the thoroughness with which you thought this through. Um, yeah, not that's not been working, has it, pal? I don't know Swanted. if I'm going to keep chopping with you, but sunk cost fallacy at this point. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let myself breathe a little again here. That's not bad. We'll go like that. There we go. And Solemnity? Not quite. Finally gets to land an attack. Messy. But effective. That plus these two. Excellent. Despite that being so sloppy, we still got through there very quickly. Well, 
not very quickly, but without too much a pain. Dissection. Unavoidable end. I'm going to be able to solemnity this guy, getting the additional two stress there obviously sucks, but... The enemy weakens and wanes. They made a jalapeno cream cheese filled everything bagel. Oh man, that actually sounds great. I would definitely give that a shot. Brows, unsteady stances, exhaustion takes hold. I've been clamoring for a sluice boss for a bit too, actually, Dry. Yeah. I'd really like that. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Hmm. It's not really gonna matter, is it? I don't think that's something we can really think about using for this team. Ah, uh, you, you've got as much contact info as I do on that front, sadly, Robin. I just checked their website to see if maybe they got like a at Red Hook Studios email or something like that. All right. They do have a Discord as well, and they probably got like a community suggestions tab there. I, in fact, I would bet on there being a there community are, suggestions yes, tab in the Discord. Just this. We're a little light. Still oh, gathers. holy cow! That sucks. Okay. A few particularly bad negative quirks for the squad here. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's limping me, wasn't it? Oof, dude. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Made the mistake again there of not checking the provisioner before doing the stagecoach repairs. I always got to do that in case there's a very good trinket for sale, but thankfully not the case this time. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the songbook here. Probably buy all this food, I guess. I don't really want to, though, but yeah, I better do it. Okay. A little bit of whiskey, and then... Honestly, it's probably fine. We don't really need that much help here. Big pig! And let's go ahead and do this. Probably going to use the whiskey here. I don't think I'm worrying about this thing. Let's see if we can get out of unfriendly territory here. Hey, Cody. Welcome back. Let's go with Flagellant Leper, Flagellant Plague Doctor. Glad we decided to get rid of that Resolute after all. And then I think that's good for the most part. Yeah. No one else unfriendly, so we'll just keep the whiskey for later. The means of mastery. Oh yeah, we should maybe consider getting some laudanum here too. Let's do. I wanted to go with the flashing upgrade. That's thirty percent grit chance. That's absurd. And then let's see. More and more is probably a good bet. Yeah, let's just play it safe here. Check for some laudanum in the provision. Spend what you can. Or wealth no longer has meaning. That'll do. If indeed it ever did. That'll do. Hit the tank. We're doing Act 1 here today, Cody, in an effort to try to do a Grand Slam Bastards Beacon clear. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Yeah, and then we'll more than likely roll right into Chapter 2 since Chapter 1's a lot faster than the others. Should be a double whammy today. Four rewards only. Resignation. All right, so keep in mind we don't need the trophy here, although we very well might fight it just for the benefit of the having it. of an invading army scattered and lost in this dying land. We've got a pretty good team for fighting the general here, too. That's a heck of a flashing start, my goodness. Yeah, actually, it was last time that we uh, cleared Act 5 Bastard's Beacon. That was something I've been trying to do for a while, and now that I finally got it, I figured let's just make it even harder, right? There's always an additional challenge to clear. And let's see here. Might as well chop away. Probably gonna battle for a mess on that plate.
played safe. This team is also really good at dealing with this fight, which is fun for me. It's an unusual circumstance. Usually this fight is very annoying. Just keep stabbing, just keep stabbing. Get the big blight going there as well, fully healed. Leper's got the damage done. No sweat, dude. Not a problem at all. I did manage to do that, Jack. Yeah, that was a few months back now. Pretty thrilled to get the 799 clear too. That's a, a VOD entitled 7 5 over on my YouTube channel if you want to peep that. I've been accomplishing some pretty serious gaming goals lately, dude. That clear in the Bastard's Geek in Chapter 5. Now I just gotta win the Bellatro Checkpoint League. Remind everybody what the hell's up. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That was silly. Mm, let's go ahead and dump this dude. Yeah, might as well play it safe. I'm right, gonna have him solemnity at the end of this as well. Keep him in tip top. Tip top, the fun don't stop. Throne dagger, this bad boy. Finish it off. The slow suffering begins. And that opens up the flat shit. Very nice. Come on, buddy. There you go. A petty hindrance. Hardly even noticed. We ride right on by with a couple of healing cells for our trouble. Nice. It's a really good find. All right, we're all about the Oblivion's Ingress here. I want as many opportunities for that as I can find so I can hopefully get some killer trinket combos going here. Which means we're more than likely riding through quite a bit of the middle area this time around. Let's see what we can find there. Yeah, another pretty simple one, nice. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's attempt to do this a little bit more effectively. Bravo. Last time was a little sloppy against these guys. So, start here. Not getting any regen this time around. Thankfully, we got our taunt upgraded too. Should be very helpful. Does he have light sensitive? Weaken them, that another may finish the work. Where did we get the double weaken from to begin with here. How'd that happen? That's odd. Okay. Maybe it was an. Did I miss an enfeebling grasp at the beginning? I don't think I did. Just decided to be weak. Yeah, that's gonna be probably another toxic trigger here too soon. Not being able to address that in any meaningful way besides the. Excellent work. Laudanum is definitely feeling like a significant enough disadvantage to attempt to rectify. He said wrecked. That kind of sounds naughty. The enemy weakens and wanes. Wrecked him something something. Killed him something. Bye bye. Ah! Another impediment, cleared with impunity. All right. Definitely feeling a lot cleaner this time. But deadly all the same. Another big incision. Pretty much taking care of her. Might be able to get into Solemnity uh, HP heal territory there. Where is prison strength? Nice, we'll go ahead and try this bash. That'll do. Good stuff. Might actually be able to get another daze there. Up. Oh, oh, never mind. Let's take the incision combo. Hit though. 
an unavoidable end. Head to bleed next turn, going for the blight up front. Actually, she could stress heal, actually. Yeah, might as well top her off, too. Looking good. Yeah, days doesn't really matter either, I guess. Don't want to endure Get the additional damage there. And then Chop actually looking pretty nice. And she will likely be able to slow to heal here. I don't remember what the new general trophy does. can be brought to heal. We'll see it. Although I don't think I'm even actually entertaining the idea of Valeria. I'm pretty sure I'm going the other way. I'm a lot more focused on trying to get some uh, Oblivion's Ingress here. Yeah, let's just do that. Malaise. Measured and steady. My goodness, man. One point off the Solemnity Threshold again. Just silly. Alright, hopefully we can manage to get one more heal in on him. Oh, it looks like he'll finally be able to... Okay, yeah, there we go. Defiant nearly stopped it again, too, but that'll do it. Wonderful. A petty hindrance. Another mastery point. That's going to be the spoken sharply. Heal four on hit. Minus 33% max HP. Yeah. No thanks. Not worth. I think I'll watchtower here so we can get the uh, get the vision and hopefully scout out some more oblivions. Be wary. That's definitely the highest priority for me right now. Looks like we're going to be heading through the lair. We get a creature den here, too. That's not bad. That is helpful. Got a couple mastery points coming out of here already. So, I'll be fully mastered for this. I mean, why not? Do some overkill. Sharpen your blades that we may properly excise our portion. Well, nothing's really overkill here, right? If you're aiming to never lose anybody and never be in danger of it, then every precaution is welcome. God damn, she's hitting hard now. All right, thankfully, we got the easiest possible start for the creature down here. It'd be cool to make a trinket to make Solemnity not have an HP restriction. Ooh, yeah, I like that. More trinkets that affect, like, skills in a very specific way. Because I feel like you can make those trinkets a lot stronger. As opposed to something like plus 15% damage or 20% damage. Like, that's universally just good, but can't get much better. Like, you can't make a trinket that's, like, plus 40% damage. That's just, that's just ridiculous. Unless it's an indelible that gives you minus 25% HP, too, and then you can make plus 50%. But the fiend's if it is a skill that says adds like 75% damage to pick to the face when used in rank two against a an opponent in the front two ranks. The enemy weakens and wanes. And you call it like bigger pick or something like that. And then you then you chuckle to yourself. Mistimed, misdirected. Yeah, you know, like that, that would work. That'd be fine. Big pick. Well yeah, done. there we go. That's better. Like, that's that's valid. You can do a that. Deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. I wouldn't mind seeing that a little bit more. I feel like that would be fun. That'd be character specific. Yeah, for sure. Which, again, is another threat or another restriction that allows you to. Um be a little crazier in its design. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. Bash the boy. Let's see if maybe take him out before he gets to do anything. I think we can, but I'm not sure I should actually. At this point, I think I'd rather just let the D.O.T. kill him next round. We can go ahead and revenge here. That's a good idea. He'll guarantee you one big pig when using big pig against a big pig. Yeah, now I think I just need this specific thing that I made. 
That, that feels necessary. So I probably should have killed this guy, turns out. Didn't this think about him doing a second begins. necrophagia, unfortunately. Uh, we'll be able to get him to death's door here and then be able to kill him next turn. And we could probably just stand here too, I think that's our cooldown. He's in pretty damn good shape. Alright, cool. There we go. Spiders? More worms. Well, that's good. Should be pretty simple. It's gotta be the easiest possible creature den sequences carrying in the carrying. Through the fatigue. That ain't bad at all. Double blind in the back, too. Sheesh. That's nice. We do need some not indelible character specific trinkets. I wouldn't mind that either, yeah. Although I do recognize that there is, like, there's reason not to overpopulate the trinket pool. It's good to keep it limited to a certain amount. So you don't have, like, you know, like, trinket overload. I do still think there's room for new, unique ones like that. I gotta be clearing these corpses. I can't forget that. I really like the idea of spending candles to roll some items in the beginning of a run. Any other use for candles, really, yeah, would be more than welcome for sure. Anything to do with them. Post unlocks. Empowered. Emboldened. Honestly, just using candles as a reroll mechanism is not a terrible idea in my mind. And it just gets more expensive the more you do it, obviously. That could work. Might be a little OP. An interminable conflict. Maybe if you re-roll, there's less stock every time, too. Like, you can re-roll the hoarder's stuff, but there's, like, if you ask him what he's got in the back, and then he can show you once, but that's it. That, that fits the game, too, I think, something like that. Dependous. Like, for it. In special circumstances, he's willing to go the extra mile to help you out. We even have that already in the form of unlocking items and using them in the next run. Right, yeah, that's true. There is a form of that already in the game. So clearly they're at least semi-open to it, right? Well, of course, that's only the one-time thing. What about spending candles to take some trinkets or items out of the pool for a run? Yeah, that'd be interesting. That honestly might be even stronger, though, than what we're describing now. Because that would allow you to more than likely get to any particular build pretty reliably. Well, I suppose the same really could be said of what we're describing, too. Baby, there's the speed though. Good stuff. Simple creature down there. A little stress heal at the end too. Nice. The one pleasant in the extreme. Ooh. This work is noble and necessary. All right, man. A couple more mastery points. Hit it. These are watchtower. They don't want to go that way, but I ain't gonna listen. Travel without proper reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. And our shield here out of the field. We're good. There's a study up there. We got a couple of them actually. Got a Chirurgian post layer here too. Shambler? 
Oh shit. Maybe put an early end to our Grand Slam pursuit. <laughs> this got exciting all of a sudden, huh? Shambler Lair Chirurgeon is definitely not the kind of thing I should be doing right now. That's what the kids call a bad idea. So watch me do it. So you don't have to. You're welcome. The star spawned child of the infinite void. Shouldn't you pre shuffle against Shambler? Yeah, but. Eh. There's only so much you can do to stop it from freaking you over, you know? Probably gonna get a toxic out of this, so. That'll help quite a bit. We have anti venom too, which is really nice. I'm gonna take the ounce here. Collaboration confers advantage. Probably go with the withstand to begin with. Chalk dust could clear it blind and a dodge, so. A miscalculation, Do that, I guess. Alright. Here we go. Shambler Lair Chirurgeon is the name of the VOD. There we go. Yeah, solve that problem. Dope. Okay, we might actually be repartee time. We'll see for the dodge in the back there, but flashing is pretty good here too. He's hurt. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a toxic real soon here. Kinda like revenge here. Let's see if maybe I can just let the blind burn off. Burn off. And then I'm gonna anti venom now. No, let's wait until after maybe he adds another stack of it. Try to get some DOT going here. That's a good start. I don't want to try to apply combo with the bash before I go for any kind of chop plays here. Straightforward. And effective. Second clapper claw falls. I think I go ahead and do this. Take advantage of our healing opportunity there. Use the blight again, stacking up pretty heavily here. Let's go for the taunt on him into an acid rain. Works for me. Um, this bash here is fun, I guess. I don't know if the immobilize really matters, but I'll take it. Chance to blight this guy is not terrific, but I do think it's still the play. What buff does the Shambler have? He does double damage because we have the baby Shambler pet. Which ultimately isn't that big of a deal against the Shambler. It makes it go from like 1 to 2 to 2 to 4 or something like that. Or crits for 7, you know. Sometimes he'll do that too. Sometimes that'll happen. Okay, we're gonna death list this, I think. Although we could probably be better off like that. More than likely going battlefield medicine in the back there. All right. Forte is starting to feel a little better now too. Bash to finally get the combo applied on the Shambler itself. Defiant, obviously, pretty damn good here. Oh hell yeah, Fawn sounds good. And wings. I think I already got that achievement, actually, Marvin. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Defeating the Shambler with the with the pet equipped. That's not great. I probably ought to go ahead and just move forward there, yeah. Sadly, the Plague Doctor doesn't like being in that position either. I like blending gas here well enough. Could help. We finally get a leopard chop in the mix. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Steady yourself. Mm. That's nice. 
Let's see. Got another salve here. Still have a combo. There's a dodge as well, though. I think repartee. It might be time. I don't think it's a good idea, though. I probably just don't want to do that. I think I just go for that. That went pretty well. Now we probably focus quite a bit more on the healing. The small foundation of trust. Why does the leper have a 0% crit on the cho chop? Yeah, it's flawed release. It's got minus 5% crit. I think withstand is pretty good here. Keep the attention off the back ranks for a bit. Got a blind here as well. Eh, no luck. Do have a toxic going so though. Unsteady stances. I like deathless there. Exhaustion takes hold. Let's play this smart. He's dead to the blight. Yeah. Toxic is really, really good in this fight. As you can see. All right, same play here, I think. Kind of like the blinding gas here as well. Although this is... Oh, no, yeah, we got anti-venom. Welcome relief We're from good. caustic agony. Let's ounce again here too. Yeah, I like that play. And we're, we're doing a revenge. Sadly, we're kind of wasting the speed token on him. So both dead to the blight, so. I guess I can solemnity, that's fine. Keep him off that stress check. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Right, blighting him down. Got for that blight there as well. Crit sadly does not land the DOT. Agony by accumulation. Yet another toxic blight lands there. Let's go ahead and rid him of this. Generosity. What a welcome one Try our luck with the blinding gas again. We'll go for our taunt once more. Kind of weird to see Barry using ounce consistently. Same here, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling kind of wacky about it, but definitely feels like the way to go. Another toxic coming up real quick. I think I have one more battlefield medicine, but oh boy, that's not good. Grave robber in the front here. I had to expect that. Ooh. Stop it. This road cannot be walked alone. Hmm, let's see. I don't know if I, I don't think I move forward here. I really hate that he's in the back. I guess I just bash again so I'm not blinded. Days might actually make a difference too. Now I can move the grave robber back and just flip their places, which is pretty good. Maybe passed into a meltdown on accident. Line of Shambler again, possibly does get the combo there too, which is pretty good. Their taunt up again. looking like Grave Robber is going to be in real rough shape by the end of this, no matter what. Hmm. I'll just bash again to delay his next action. It's not really guaranteed, so... Let's take that instead, I suppose. Oh, he was already going down to Death's Door. I just realized, damn. Steady yourself. That's unfortunate. All right, he's dead to the Blight, obviously. He's probably going to be close. This next toxic, unless it misses, obviously. Not great. Um, what little as that is, I actually think that's, well, more likely going to be necessary here. So let's do that. He's weakened here, too. That's really good. Doesn't matter too much. Right, so we're going to need to... I think he's not going to be able to taunt here. I don't think I have withstand either. 
But I guess we're just chopping this guy, which should work. So I think we do this. A miscalculation, perhaps. So we just need to make sure. We'll do another deathless, actually. I think I do this, though. And then I also do that. A slow dissection. There we go. An unavoidable end. There we go. Alright, that should work. I think I'll be able to pass heal. We're gonna melt down off that probably, but. Oh no, we're fine. We're not fine, but we're alive. Of deathless, but all oh, right, yeah, he's off the threshold. Shit. Let's endure then. Mm -hmm. More solemnity. He's dead to the blight there. Nice. We did it. Wasn't easy. We are the flame. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Add one positive token when stress damage. It is quite good. Throw that on the flagellant as well. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. Equip those on you. Okay, here we go. All there, huh? Is your coach prepared for the upcoming obstruction? So we just took a damn shambler down. We can handle anything. All right then. The loathing whispers. I mean, we ain't about to fight a general here, but we can at least provide you the stress relief from having given you that impression. I ain't even gonna look at skills. There's no way I'm fighting this. Within every keep, a general. And his loyal Not guard. gonna happen. Well, hopefully, measure out your violence. Ooh, healing opportunity at this. Judiciously, as we need it. There we go. A little bit better there. Nearly able to kill these guys outright. A tropic cut in the third rank. I did not realize was a thing. That. Still on Bastard Tier Tech, yeah. That's another taunt for sure. We get the Flash and Daggers coming up for the finish here. See you. A promising development. You're gonna go ahead and heal again. They don't seem to like you very much. Well, that's real. Capitalization, in particular, there. Uh, yeah, I try it. Kind of rough shape right now. I want to endure that too. Oh yeah, let's do this. Although I guess I just exposed her again, didn't I? Hmm. Find him. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, you're dead, the dummy. Continues. Way to stop being alive, idiot. Leave this guy. You can just die and be okay. Ridiculous. I know better. I'll never die. The fiend's strength dwindles. Aren't they already dead? Well, I suppose it makes more sense then, doesn't it? He's trying to double negative his way back to existence. So I'm already dead. If I die again, that means I gotta be alive, right? I mean, that checks out. Yeah, I'm with you. You won't get chopped here, pal. I knew you could. I knew you had it in you. Mm, yeah, I think it's in door time. Let's try to fix everybody's sitch a little bit. A couple of solemnities at the end. Stop hitting her! Knock it off! She's 
healed herself three damn times already. That is enough. Talk back up here. Have fun with him, all right? Sheesh. All right, self-heal, fella. And chop him up. The enemy weakens and wanes. My biggest fear is Tommy Cam opening and him not being there. Where could he be? He was right there. Um. Tommy? Uh-oh. I want to maybe check your immediate surroundings real quick just to just to oh god he's the oh no oh god it's Tommy it's my hand and my... oh no oh god I used the wrong transition ruined it soiled it soiled it recalculating soiled one's it. is never a wasted endeavor It's okay, he's back. Good as new. There we go. All better. Huh. Cash. Rules. Everything around me. Chaos must be met with unwavering resolve. So let's go get some. You like money. How are we doing on that? Yeah, we could use more. We can always use more. Can Tommy Kim replace Bear Cam today? Nah, that's too much effort. I have to click and drag something. I'm not gonna do that. It's serious. They have got to knock that off. Tommy, are you a bad luck charm, dude? Get out of here. Stop the do goddamn it. Drop the cuts on the plague doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tommy versus thousand degrees Celsius knife. I think, I think we know who wins that. Bad for the knife wielder. Huh. Bear, I'm pretty sure those people aren't holding the knife. <laughs> what <are they> using? <laughs> I hope not. I got a thick ass glove. Oh boy. We come to a traffic cuts to the plague doctor. I don't know what I expected. When I put the taunt up, obviously, you're gonna hit the plague doctor. That's what's gonna happen. That's what they're gonna do, bears. All three of them are gonna be like, oh, cool, a plague doctor to hit. Let's kill it. There you go. That's the one. Okay, keep flashing. A righteous action will work eventually. Streamer can have a little fourth degree burn as a treat. Only if I'm good. How often has Tommy violated the Geneva Convention? I believe it was created as a result as a direct result of him. If Tommy, then Geneva Convention. A lesson taught. Is a lesson learned. Uh, yeah. Wasting disease off hitting a zombie. Thanks, hypochondriac. Thank you. Ooh, nice stress heal there. All right, one more. One more indiscriminate there. 
has to make her feel better. Or that. And boop. And blight. I need for endure. I might want to try to stall for the solemnity at the end. I think I got it. Deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. What's Tommy's full name? Saint Thomas the Coconut Esquire. He passed the bar yesterday. I forgot to tell the you guys. Investors. Congrats, Tommy. The law offices of Tommy, Tommy, and Tommy Surprise are now open. This way, if you can make it. Currently only handling small small claims court, but <laughs> I don't think they even have lawyers, do they? Lawyers don't have to work their way up from uh, my neighbor's dog. Stole my Perhaps lantern. I left this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Why the hell was it a lantern? Perhaps it is not here at all. Why was that the first thing my brain spit out? That's not. Not only is that not a common thing for a dog to steal, it's not commonplace, period. He's got a goddamn lantern there. You're too dark as dungeon build. Analysis is invaluable until it becomes an excuse for an action. Clenching claws, obviously pretty sick for the leper here. Campers. Campers have lanterns. Don't put a damper on the camper's lanterns, you bastard. The lost souls of a dying world empty of hope and humanity i have a lantern if you had a lantern what would you put in it jesus christ how old is that i think it's coming up on like a decade now that reference put tommy in it that's fair lantern oil yeah makes sense a fairy, how about? Save yourself some resources. Just light up a fairy, baby. Hmm, I need to stress heal. So I need corpses. I think we're about to get one. I do not want to get one here, though. Uh, I'm not the howl. Don't do that. Owie, owie, owie. Strength dwindles. Miss it. Nice. Solemnity, I guess. I could do that. Why not? Blinding gas for this boy. How sentient are fairies? Would it be considered kidnapping? All I can think of is the the fairy and the lantern from Baldur's Gate 3 would get progressively more and more upset with you the longer you went without freeing her from the lantern. I think she even started cussing you out at one point. So sentient enough to know curse words. Which I think is mostly the threshold for, you know, whether or not we determine something to be sentient. Whether or not it knows the F word. Well, this is nicely distributed, at least. That's kind of them. I think I might as well just go ahead and accept that we're probably getting another Toxic here, but... Eh, maybe we can kill him before that. Who knows? Nope. I don't know, middle schoolers usually seem more like a hive mind than sentient. I mean, what is what is a hive mind if not the ultimate form of sentience? Lethality writ large. Collective sentience. Don't howl. Thank you. Heal him up. Why don't you heal me up? Except I kind of didn't want you to. Should have done him, apparently. I disagree, but you say so. Compassion 
quiet the howling mind. Okay. Well done. Well, the stress certainly looks better until we look at the relationship page. The unpleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. You got a heap and help in the mastery points here. A couple from the peculiar secretion coming up here, too. Order as well. We got a good amount of resources, don't we? Yeah, this is nice. Should be in good shape. Flagellant Searing Scripture again. The Emancipation here, too. It's pretty nice. Ooh, annotated textbook. Gotta be. Plus 10% melee skills chance. Or crit chance, rather. Ah, no laudanum this time, unfortunately. That'll probably do. I'll take the stimulating poultice. That's always nice. Mild T's good, too. I'll take that. Might be able to get rid of hypochondriac. Oh, this is going to get rid of the wasting disease, too. I just realized the peculiar secretion. That's convenient. Now, hopefully we have enough bobbles to repair the coach by the end of this, too. Guess we'll find out. difficult fight we've had so far, which isn't really saying much. This is pretty easy. Bravo! Especially when that lands. I think I just start slicing him up. Malaise. Measured and steady. Pretty sure we're not gonna have to deal with the worship this time. Sundering steel, totally fine. Let's bash this boy. Likely to get the stun there, but we'll certainly try. Oh goodness, Grave Robber! I'm not freaking around out here, dude. It does get the region up, sadly. I just want to make damn sure that we don't allow for the uh, the enemy weakens and wanes. For the worship there. I think I'll just stab again. Very well out, dude. The regen with some DOT here. Bash him again? No, it's just chop. Enough. This is no time to Two can play that game, he says. Alright then. Um Deathless, nah. Just launch it up. May be able to solidity there. I think he's uh, I think he's like one hit point off the threshold. I think it's below 33%, right? For solemnity. Where's solemnity? Yeah, god, literally a single hit point off of being able to heal from that here. That's frustrating. Can't target that either, so I guess I'll just do this for now. A renewal. Welcome. Thousands of retirees. Thank you very much. And I must Twitch baby. Give him some bear hugs, please. Welcome back into the pile. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Oh boy. That's not great. This is where you start to miss that targeted stress healing quite a bit. More DOT? That'll do. Wow, that, uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, guess we're doing a meltdown on the leper. Yikes. The hive mind of retirees. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Guess I should have hit that solemnity anyway. Oh well. Probably still fine. Speed for the boy. I don't need to taunt anymore, so we're happy to do that. Hopefully the blight's sufficient here. I kinda wanna do this though. Keep her at zero, yeah, that's nice. And keep stabbing. That store beacon, okay. Don't be way to the world, thank you. Got the stress, but it should be fine. Cool. We did it. Go team. Healed for more than he hurt. Nice. Ooh, love wounding words. We were just talking about you. The loathing whispers. Throw that on the leper right away too. Hell yeah, dude. Plus 50% chop damage. Let's go. A fortifying meal 
a strong drink, and finally, rest. All right, back to the inn. Person's guild seal a little late, but might be able to get something out of it. I just have to spend all our rebel or all our bobbles repairing the stagecoach, though. Soften your gaze. Ooh, it is safe here. Evasive leper is very interesting. I don't mind that one bit. I'm just gonna get rid of hypochondriac. Oh no, that's not at all what happened. I got rid of precision striker. Spend what you can. Ah, uh. the wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Free stagecoach repair, that's always nice. The mountain waits, casting its shadow over all the land. No, never save scum. I just accept the outcome. Alright, well. Still worth upgrading that, obviously. I think I'll take my upgraded poison dart as well. Upgrade the death list, punish the acid rain. Probably the Endure is worthwhile here as well. Revenge and Ruin, though, is more fun. So we're going to do that. And then just take off with Stand, I guess? Why not? Sounds good. We got evasive anyway. Cool. That's pretty good. What else we got? Got to buy some food here, right? Oh, we don't actually. Cool. Pick that up. Let me get some stimulating poultices Something here. To ease the rigors of the road. Probably need the pipe weed. I can use the songbook as well. Actually, songbook might not be the way to go with the lever speed. Let's take a look at that real quick. Minus one? Yeah, I think we'll be okay, actually. I'm just give him the pipe weed, too. Leper and flagellant needs a ton of work, so we'll get started on that. Plus two is always nice. That was outstanding. Okay. Good stuff. Let's keep working on them. The plus one. Sprained wrist is unfortunate. Get them into friendly territory, though. There we go. The stimulating to you for the additional heal speed. Stun resistance there. I'm going to give these guys the big food. Let's do songbook. And then let's see where we're at. We need to help out very unfriendly between the other two here. So let's go like this. Let's go like this. Yeah, region one's all, or uh, chapter one's always pretty quick. So not surprising that we were able to get to the mountain so fast here. All right, so I guess I'm leaving one in the very friendly territory, or very unfriendly territory, unfortunately. I can live with that. We got the tea service here as well. Anything Better than nothing. Anything that lets us travel further is worth the cost. All right, and then as far as our relics are concerned, we're going to go for that laudanum for sure. We're going to take the glimmers here. I'm going to go for the smoke bombs. And we'll do the scrap grenade. Sure, yeah, that works. Toxic uh, is not uh, that either. Will. Welcome back. I'll take those. Cupid the Pikachu. Bear hugs, please, for him. Thanks for the nine months on the pile. Welcome back in. We did live, Pawn. Managed to survive with everybody. We did manage to make up a little bit of the lost crit chance here, thankfully. Although, it obviously, could be a lot better. Okay. Save the cells for the end game, I guess. Dodge of lie there. I think I'll use the anti venom here. Smoke bombs, I think, are for the end game as well. Oh, we have four smoke bombs. Interesting. We'll be able to use them after all. Some more laudanum. I think I should use these as well. Let's do this. Thanks for the bear hugs for them. Appreciate it, y'all. Thanks for the support there. Let's get some bear rolls going too, shall we? Because once more, we've arrived at the foot of the mountain with a team that should make mincemeat of the locks. Each covets what the other has, and plots to take it. That's eh, not a problem. A little extra stress, not too bad. Send it! Bear roll! And we're back. At last, the Great Ziggurat. Temple of failure and regret. Shouldn't be too bad here. Is there even a fight before the chapter one boss? I can never remember. Does anyone remember? 
I think there's one. It's one at most. It's no more than one. But I think he just might go... No, here it is. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it is just the one fight, so we'll have the glimmers equipped here and the laudanum. Yeah, that's all good. That'll do it. Send it. Here we go. Okay. That's a fun start right there. A little daze on the altar might actually result in us getting a pretty early kill on that thing. Although I doubt it. Chapter 1 here, London. We're trying to knock this out quick and then probably go right into Chapter 2 after that. Glimmer it up. No blight on the altar, sadly. Uh, let's try this, I guess. Wow, that was convenient. Okay. I'm going to do Ruin, too. Just for funsies. I want to get a nice big chop on this guy. Or even her, actually. That'd work, too. Hopefully misses the crit here as well. Whiff. No sweat. Okay, let's see. Big stab. Through a block there. Uh, I think I'm flashing again. Well done. Pretty sure I want to go all in on the altar with her. Ah, I got the goddamn regen again. Well, thankfully, we got a blight cutting that in half, but still annoying. He's been critting the shit out of this guy, though. Wow. Alright, so unfortunately, unless the flashing daggers is able to deal five next round. We are unlikely to take him out before the worship here. I think I will go... Oh, no. Reflection replaced revenge. Ah, man. That's a shame. I might have to swap off Bash for revenge just to get really greedy. That's a solid one, gaming. I'm pretty happy with that. on the boy. Oh, he got a... Uh, I didn't realize we were already in round three. He got first action, son of a bitch. Well, that's a bummer. She's gonna get her worship here, too. That did not go very great. That's annoying. Alright, well, that's gonna, that's gonna be a stress hit for sure. 39, sheesh. There you go. That's good, at least. I'm not going to be able to blind him, are we? Oh, I should have done a blinding gas there. What was I thinking? Crap. Oh, well. I can try to dodge this at the very least. Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. going to be some stress there. That's good for the toxic anyway, though. I'm a toxic later. A small foundation of trust. And back to full. Never worried. All right. He does have his big full hit still coming, though, so we got to make sure we keep his taunt up. Can be able to blind you guys now. Maybe that'll work. I got the combo, at least. Okay. I think she does this. I don't know if that stops him from hitting her with an AoE, but we'll try it. Really looking to try to get the Toxic immediately here. That sucks. And Leper's Ruin buff is gone too, unfortunately. Have a melee reduction there as well. well this isn't great. This wound at least has been tended to. Let's see here. We can at least stop it a little bit, but... A brilliant conclusion. Really looking like he's determined to make this happen. Oh boy. There we go, fella. That's more like it. Two more stacks of death on our sheesh. Get out of here, dude. We've had enough. Oh, that's right. She has Cosmic Slayer. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. At 
Necessary. Keep the bear rolls coming, y'all. That actually puts us in a pretty good spot here. We'll be able to finish strong. Let's do it. Get this in there. I don't think ethereal dust matters. I think I'd rather have a self. And yeah, we don't need dead of night anymore. I should have upgraded absinthe and repartee, but that's all right. Keep bounce. No bash. We're gonna go for revenge here to be super greedy. And that ought to do it. Here we go. Toxic's prepped. Everybody else feeling healthy. The Collegianus Cathedral. Let's hit it. Malign Temple of the Iron Crown. Here we go. The mind must be freed of its self-imposed incarceration. We start with a scrap grenade. Makes perfect sense to me. The ounce out there. Yeah, it's been a minute since we fought the locks, huh? Stupendous. Okay, good start. Do you think it's wise to prioritize this guy? It's gonna make it more difficult. Oh. Anxiety for men's insidious fears. My God. My God. Make it easy on the poor thing, huh? A couple of blinds back there. Let's get our punk going now so we can get our toxic on these things. And now we go ruin revenge. Although, let's wait until... Agony. Possibly the blind is clear to pop the ichor. Heals is terrible news. Yikes, that sucks. Okay. Hmm. I guess we could just go toxic immediately. Although, I think I'd rather stay a little healthier for now, I guess. Hmm, lucky on the DOT. The mind grasp grows tenuous. Yes, that is why I wanted the Icker. What are the bastard's beacon buffs on this fight? That's a good question. Enhanced death effects. So they're death rattles. This is no time to are gonna be more impactful here, apparently. That's nice. Alright, time to do this, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm, Ruin is already at plus 20%. These chops are already going to be pretty good, but I'm greedy. Very, very greedy. The stress healing remove, that's not a problem. It's not getting any heals if we don't do this, so I think it's time. Yeah, they got a lot more HP now, too, which is concerning. I think I should do this now. And flashing again, I suppose. Oh, I did have absent there. That would have been better. Excellent work. Didn't think about it. Ooh, three stress heals from that. Nice. Oh, man. Let's see. Hmm, that's a lot of stress there. Yikes. Resolute? That'd be cool. Okay, okay. Let us hope they find peace. Humility. It doesn't taste very good. It tastes kind of bad. That's, that's bitter. I was a little worried about that targeted sequence there, and sure enough. Man, that sucks. Oh, so much for the Grand Slam, I guess. Let's see if we can even kill these things. I guess this is a little bit more difficult here. With the Bastard's Beacon. How strange. Any being, however horrid, can be brought to heal. It's a good thing we got the... Stun resist, apparently. I did forget that's kind of a big deal with these guys. 
Naturally, he's got his goddamn melee prevention here, and then that's gonna waste the fucking crit token. Oh, God. There's a solid chance the Flash can just solo this. Probably, yeah. The enemy weakens and wanes. Not wrong. Well, there's one dead. Full healed with 10 regen for three turns. That sucks. Wow. Okay. There is comfort in company. I think I'm gonna die. Inexorable. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. That is insane. That's convenient, okay. What the fuck, dude? They're just gonna be full HP for a minute. I just gotta stall. That is that is absurd. Collaboration confers advantage. I'm definitely dead. I, I fully underestimated this. I did not expect this. This is this is insane. They made this immensely more difficult Malaise. with Bastard's Beacon. Measured and steady. My god. I mean, Taunt hardly matters, but they're multi-targeting, too. Spurned for now. This is ridiculous. Sweat-soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Oh boy. What can we learn from this though? I appreciate the optimism. What what I immediately learned from this is that I don't really want to try it anymore. <laughs> I'm no longer interested, is what I learned. Because I thought this would be a lot easier. But no, it turns out every bastard's beacon boss is a bastard. And it doesn't seem very fun anymore. Try a new infernal flame next time, dude. This is ridiculous. I've accomplished enough. Yeah, the incessant stun, I'm remembering that was a thing here too, and it's not a fun time. Not only is their action economy ridiculous, but they also like take away quite a bit of yours, and that just that just becomes nonsensical eventually there remains a foothold out of this mire now climb again taunt matters so little here too it's kind of kind of nutty how much they can just ignore that Light's doing a lot, but I don't know if it's enough. Actually, honestly, that's probably going to be helpful for him, if anything. Might as well let that happen. The meltdown, that is. Still got Defiant going there, too, which is nice, I guess. I mean, this is probably the better idea. I just don't even know if it's worth it anymore. Just gonna let the blight do the work up front, probably. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. Once again, teetering on that terrible. It's probably precipice. a dead plague, Doctor. I mean, they're, they're doing an excellent job of prioritizing targets as well, which I shouldn't be mad about. I should expect that. That has been pretty detrimental, too. Brutal, man. Might 
as well. Um, I've got a big damage bonus here. I'll take that at least. No, I, I do still have some hope too. I think this is actually possible with this team. These guys are good enough to do it on their own. It's just a matter of rolling the dice well a couple of times here for the most part. All right, he's dead. No stun helps a lot. I have another Solemnity. Bleed's gone soon as well. Keep doing the uh, denials that don't really matter too much. That's helpful too. Okay. Light there is nice. Let's see if I can get lucky on the chop here. This time that hurts a lot. Is directed. All right, they now have plus 100% damage. <laughs> Conflict. Just a casual double damage buff off that death rattle. I'm sure that's going to be fine. Plunging Claws of Vulnerable is nice. Keep in mind he's defiant, so it is kind of worth it to gamble on this as well. This is no time to falter. That certainly worked out. I think we got it. It's far from a given, but I think we have made it. Oh, boy. It ain't gonna be no Grand Slam victory, but I'll take the W at least. Fight through the fatigue. Yeah, obviously Denial of Reach isn't really gonna do much. Max Chop, there we go, he's done. Ready to wrap this shit up. Stun off the Quenching Claws, nice. What was that one's buff? Adds, uh, looks like plus two speed. Which is certainly the least threatening of the bunch. Jeez, looks like we gotta stop killing the healer first, kill them last. Pretty obviously. A miscalculation, perhaps. Well. It adds a buttload of negative tokens on hit. Oh, that's it. You're right. Yeah, it applies the blind and the weaken with the add negative guaranteed on hit as well. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> of course. You got it this time, right, buddy? There he goes. Well, that last, didn't feel great. The world's mind is free to remember a time before the cancerous corruption. GG. Yay. One. The Odyssey strengthens you. We well, kept two alive. We got the memories on them. We can add memories here to the first, to the Flagon Leper and. Maybe bring them along. Maybe we build a new team next time and try and get. I don't know. How I don't many know. souls are lost forever in this lightless obscurity? Honestly, I think next week I'm going to be a lot more excited about the idea of doing Memory a new Infernal Flame. Is the heart that warms the mind. So I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. More Death Star was this for you. Actually, let's go crit chance. A memory of pleasure. And dull a moment of pain. Those are nice memories for these guys, too, so yeah, that'll do. Alright, y'all. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. Didn't quite go how we wanted, but still a good time. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed another run of DD2. We'll try probably a new Infernal Flame next go around and see if maybe we want to help put together a new squad as well. But thanks for the support. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed over on youtube.com slash I'll see you in the next one.